Hi darlings and welcome to my channel. My name is Blanca and today's video is all about what I have in my purse slash bag. So the bag I'm going to talk about today is it's a replica of Gucci Soho Disco bag and yes I said replica um, what that means is that it is exactly the same bag as Gucci Soho Disco bag but I didn't buy it via um, Gucci I bought it um, from Purse Valley and little disclaimer don't order anything from Purse Valley because I think they closed down and um, I don't know what happened but I know that people had terrible, terrible experience lately with Purse Valley. Me, personally, I didn't uh, have much troubles with them. The only trouble I had is that the little stat um, here by this little... How do, how do you call it? Fringe or whatever, uh, was broken in here. But they promised me to send a new one. So that was the only problem, but I think it got injured um, during the shipment. Basically, it's a bag made of the same leather, everything looks the same, they use the same uh, hardware, um, but it is much, much cheaper to, to uh, buy the replica. And I know that some people think that it's not alright to buy replicas of bags, watches or whatever shoes, I must say I would never be able to pay full price for a Gucci product so I'm not a potential customer anyways and uh, I got this one because it's a very good quality bag beautiful size and I don't feel guilty if you are interested in um, in buying some uh, replica bags I wouldn't recommend Purse Valley but there is many 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 more uh, places where you can buy good quality um, replicas if you would like to see a video all about it please let me know then I will maybe film something like a guide for good replica uh, designer bags. But let's go straight to, to my bag because this video is all about what I have in my bag. So first of all I need to say that this bag is amazing. I love the finish of it, I like the size, I like how lightweight it is even though it's quite a few items inside of it. I love the strap and I like that you can adjust it, the length uh, of it. I'm pretty short, so for me it's pretty important um, function. Option? Feature? It has a zipper, so it's very safe. You can close it, nobody will uh, put their hands inside of it. And then, as you can see, there is lots of things inside of it. Uh, it has two pockets on the side and a, one big compartment in the middle. Let me start from the uh, smaller uh, pocket just in here. So what do we have in here? I have mint, it's some kind of like a Tic Tac uh, Lars brought from um, one of his uh, conferences he, he went to. And then there is my card to get to work. I probably shouldn't show you that with all of the numbers in there. Uh, and uh, one more disclaimer, I don't have wallet. I just, I, I don't believe in wallets. Uh, I know maybe it's stupid, but I always uh, have my car, credit cards and uh, membership cards and my ID, everything is loose in my purse. I mean in my bag, uh, but normally I have those little packets um, and I will just throw all my credit cards in there. The reason for not having a wallet is very simple. I usually I have very small bags, so uh, having a wallet would just take so much space and normally I have only a couple of cards with me. And uh, speaking of cards, I will just go to the opposite compartment in here. What do I have in here? I have my blotting sheets, this one is from a um, brand called Vivo, I bought it in Poland and they are just regular um, blotting sheets because as you know I have extremely greasy face and if you can see that I'm all shiny in my face, um, it's very hot in here, I needed to close the window because otherwise you would hear all of the people from the street and I have lots of lights around me. So. Um, sweating, trust me. Blotting sheets as a first item and then I have my travel card for a train and bus and all that jazz. I have my credit card but I'm not gonna show you that. I have my ID and 
and uh, band-aids, plasters with Hello Kitty, duh, I got it from, from Lars uh, because you never know when your shoes will give you a blister that's why I have it and I also have a Jo Malone a peony blush suede sample uh, on this piece of paper uh, because I really want to buy um, Jo Malone fragrance but they are pretty expensive, so I really want to make sure that the one I will buy, I like. So um, yesterday we went to Jo Malone um, pop-up in magazine. Magazine is like, a, I think, Selfridges uh, in England or Bloomingdale's, Bloomingdale's in, um, in the US. And uh, so basically like a department store. And, um, and I was trying different fragrances and I think Peony and Blush Suede is my favorite but before I buy it and I splurge uh, for it I want to make sure that's why I, I took a sample and let's see if I'm not gonna get a headache because of this fragrance and that was it in this packet and then let's move to the main compartment the first, the biggest item, it's a case with glasses and I wish I would say sunglasses but I don't need sunglasses in Denmark, trust me so there are regular glasses from the company called Firmo and I got a beautiful case with some kind of old map on it. So this is the, uh, the company, online company with glasses. Um, and I must say I was surprised how easy it was to order glasses online. I wasn't sure if this particular um, glasses frame uh, looks good on my face, what do you think? I still don't know if... I, oh my god, they are so dirty. <laughs> I was touching them with my greasy fingers. Um, what do you think? Do you like those glasses on me or not necessarily? I like them in a way because I have very small face and sometimes when I look down my glasses just slide down but they don't do that and I like the um, silver frame and I like the shape of it. It, uh, it gives me a teeny bit of uh, cat eye effect but what do you think? Should I keep it? Should I return it? Hmm. I don't know. I will leave the link to this website with those glasses uh, down below. So if you, you are interested to buy um, in buying new uh, pair of glasses or sunglasses, you can go there because they have excellent customer service, very fast shipping and they are pretty affordable. Next up, I have tissues. I am extremely sniffy person. Uh, you have no idea, <laughs> so I always keep tissues next to me. Of course, I have a um, lip balm, this one is from Nivea, or Nivea, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, and this one, it's a vanilla and macadamia nut uh, flavor, and I like it. It smells heavenly, like cookies, and what's going on with my hair? Can you tell me? Why do I struggle with my hair all the time? Maybe I should cut it, I don't know. Next up, I have lady supplies i don't need to talk more about it of course um i have power bank because my iphone i have iphone 6 and battery is dying like nobody's business i am getting so annoyed by that it's like i'm, I'm leaving home uh, at seven o'clock to go to work okay 7 30 let's be honest and um and then half an hour later my battery is dead when i get to work i need to charge it so i always take power bank with me because I have my monthly pass on my phone and uh, just in case uh, ticket control I need to have it on me and there is some kind of flu flying around go away go away okie dokie I have my house keys with a um, loyalty membership card to the local drugstore of course headphones because I like to watch YouTube when I am on my way to work uh, of course, I have a hair elastic because you never know when you want to tidy your hair up when it's windy and it's always windy uh, in Denmark, of course. And three last products are a lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury, uh, Peach Perfect. It's a beautiful nude color. Can you see it? Yeah, I love Charlotte T Tilbury products and this one is just perfection. It's such a uh, nourishing and moisturizing lipstick. I highly recommend her products, even though they are pretty pricey. 
and another uh, lip product I have it's a matte lipstick from Golden Rose and I'm not sure in which countries you can get a Golden Rose we can get it in Poland I got it in from Poland and um, this shade is number 18 and I freaking love it Jesus I love this crayon it's just the most beautiful brown nude it's just perfect and even though it's matte finish it doesn't dry out your lips which is amazing and the very last thing in my purse it's a sample of this um how is it called suede blush something peony and blush suede fragrance from john malone so i can try it and see if i like it and that would be it in my purse you can see it's completely completely empty but i love it truly truly love this purse and uh, if you have enough money go for original one because it's worth it i it's just beautiful bag i just couldn't afford that that's why i went for replica but it is amazing i love it and it looks so good with every single outfit i wear you know i like to wear a very neutral natural colors and this one goes with everything so if you like this bag I will leave the link down below to the original one uh, if you can afford it I couldn't that's why I went for replica uh, but yeah that was it in uh, what I have in my bag video thank you so much for watching um, all of the social media links you will find down below uh, in the um, description box and thank you so much for watching please please remember to, to, to click the subscribe button and uh, see you in my next video bye bye